bread, it's the meat, it's the thing that goes on it, it's the little slather that makes everything moist, it's the hint of this, it's a little touch of that. It's all over the place. There's really no one way to make a sandwich. It's whatever makes you feel good. G'day gang, welcome back to the Between Bread Show. Let's make an action Bronson. Given it's summer, first thing we're going to start with is some strawberries. One tip for strawberries while they're in season, go to the harvest market and buy a couple of boxes of the seconds. I like to freeze these, that way year round I have really good tasting strawberries. They're never going to make it onto a platter again, but for things like smoothies or jams or sauces, these are perfect. Along with them, we're going to add a punnet of blackberries. From there, a couple of pinches of salt. I couldn't decide which sugar to use, brown sugar or white sugar, so let's go in with a couple of teaspoons of each. And then some sliced jalapenos. Leave the seeds in. Now we're going to leave this on low heat and just give it a stir. There's a lot of sugar in there and we don't want it burning to the bottom of the pot. The next thing that we need to address is our protein, and I have gone with a big slab of uncut bacon. And I'm gonna do this a lot from now on. I saw Action do this on, again, First We Feast, but he also does it in his cookbook, Fuck That's Delicious. Get bacon, cut it thick, slice through the fat every kind of half inch. And because this bacon has already been, I think, double smoked, ooh, it is very good. Thick bacon, give it a go. Now, in terms of cooking for this sandwich, that is kind of it. The other things that I did in Action Bronson kind of style, I just kept everything very seasonal, very fresh. I got this heirloom tomato from a Nepalese woman that lives across town. Unreal, look at that. Again, local camembert, cut that up. Uh, and then iceberg lettuce, just got that from the supermarket. I'm not gonna go hiking to find lettuce. And then the baguette, this is like a sourdough looking baguette. This one actually looks a little kind of fucking burnt, <laughs> but. How we look? It's okay, I see <laughs> what, I see what. That's all good, bakers make mistakes. Cut that open, look at that. With the bacon looking good and crispy on the outside, that comes off. And then we're going to toast our baguette in the bacon fat. So get that face down on the cooking surface. And there we go. With that all done, it is time for assembly. The top of our baguette is getting some Japanese mayo. So onto the bottom part of our bread, we're going on with our sweet and spicy jam, saucy stuff. Then it's down with our super thick cut bacon, followed by our camembert our heirloom tomatoes, hit them with a pinch of salt, then our lettuce, and that is it. Super simple, probably the easiest between bread we've done so far. It looks very good, but how does it taste? All right, the Action Bronson. Oh my God, holy fuck. Okay, so I have a rule usually with BLTs, and that's that you don't fuck with them. And the most important thing is the tomato. I was reluctant to put in the um, this beautiful, sweet, spicy. I didn't want to take away from the from the BLT part. It doesn't it doesn't do that. Oh my god! It's like it's like making love to your own mouth. My bacon so often just an add-on, crispy bacon. It's just you know, it's this with crispy bacon. That is a star. It's number one. I'm gonna save that for my beautiful wife. Goodbye.